Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Blue Review. Today is an exciting video for me. Um, we're finally at a thousand subscribers, so I am now making my collection update video as I have promised for a long time. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel and commented and liked um, over the past about year now. I made a collection video uh, about when I started the channel and I had about half of what I have now. So. Pretty exciting to see the growth in both my channel and my collection. Without further ado, I'm gonna show off my collection. Please feel free to leave comments below on anything that I'm missing. What do I need to pick up? Um, what would you like to see more in this channel? You know, I've asked that a few times in the last few months and it's been pretty hectic with COVID and everything, but I'm gonna really try to buckle down this coming fall and winter and um, try to make the content better and better on the channel. And I'm, I'm always looking for suggestions, so. Thanks again to everybody for subscribing to this channel. Let's take a look at my collection. All right, so we are gonna start at the top. Um, I do have a few other random things up here. These are all Blu-rays and this is all a lot of boutique um, stuff. I do have a, about an entire shelf this size worth of movies that is stored in my closet because I have ran out of room in my apartment. I am hoping to have a house in about a year or less so I will have much more room. I can put up another shelf or two and keep growing to fill them up. So for now, I just have my 4Ks on this shelf and as you can see, it's almost full. These bottom two rows down here um, are uh, just some random stuff. There's some Disney things and some stuff I need to sell and some video games. But from, th from this row all the way up is all 4K. And before, all I had was down to, I believe, somewhere in here um, on the prior video about a year ago. So I know none of that is all that interesting. So I'll go ahead and just start off with my Disney and Pixar collection. So up here is pretty much all... Disney or Disney owned companies. So we've got Brave, Cars, oh, Cars 2, 3, Coco, Finding Nemo, oh, Finding Dory, The Good Dinosaur, The Incredibles, Incredibles 2, Inside Out, Ratatouille, Toy Story, Toy Story 2, Toy Story 3, Toy Story 4, Monsters, Inc. Uh, that's Monsters University, sorry. We got Monsters, Inc., Wally, -E, A Bug's Life, Up. Um, okay, that's a little bit out of order there. We got The Call of the Wild. And then, yes, we have Onward with no slipcover. This absolutely kills me. Um, as you can see, my entire collection has slipcovers almost, except for things that didn't come out with one. And Disney, I don't know what you're doing. You screwed up. You released this. No slipcover was ever made. So I will have a new video coming out soon um, going over some Pixar's. I do have an older video, but now um, it's updated. So I might take a little closer look at these. Um, this is a real bummer. Continuing on, we've got The Call of the Wild. Actually a very good looking 4K movie. Didn't love the movie itself, but it looked amazing. Great for the format. Going into more um, just Disney titles, we got B Big Hero 6. It's a pretty tight fitting shelf right here. I'm actually gonna take this out so they slide out more. Zootopia, Tangled, Princess and the Frog, Moana, Frozen. Frozen 2, um, didn't like it as much as the first, however, not bad for Frozen. Little Mermaid, Wreck-It Ralph, Wreck-It Ralph Breaks the Internet, a remake of Dumbo, Beauty and the Beast, remake of Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, remake of Aladdin, not a huge fan of these remakes, Mary Poppins Returns, The Lion King, the remake of Lion King, Jungle Book, Cinderella, Maleficent, Maleficent Mistress of Evil, Recently released Hocus Pocus. Now here's all the MCU movies. We got Iron Man, not Disney owned, but I still felt like it fit right here. Incredible Hulk, that was universal. I had the rights to distribute that. I'm gonna slide this over so I can slide these out better. We got Thor, 
Captain America. As you can see, I have them more in order of release and not by their, like, all the Avengers together or anything like that. We got Avengers, Iron Man 3, Thor the Dark World, Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2, Winter Soldier, Age of Ultron, Ant-Man, Civil War, another non-Disney distributed one. Spider-Man Homecoming, Black Panther, Doctor Strange, Hard to Find, Slipcover Here, Thor Ragnarok, Avengers Infinity War, Ant-Man the Wasp, Captain Marvel, not a huge fan of that movie. Endgame, another Sony, but Spider-Man Far From Home. I would like Disney to have the, the matching little picture down here, but whatever. You got the original Hulk, Venom, I kind of put those up there because they're Marvel Universe, but obviously not in the Disney realm. Continuing on with the superheroes, we got the Deadpool 1 and 2 collection, the original X-Men trilogy, the sequel X-Men trilogy, Dark Phoenix, very disappointing movie, Logan, very great movie, the Spider-Man Legacy collection, this has the Tobey Maguire trilogy and the Andrew, Andrew Garfield duology. Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse, very, uh, very pleasant surprise with this movie and a great 4K title. The first four movies of the DCEU, Justice League, Aquaman, one of my favorite 4Ks, Shazam, Birds of Prey, have not gotten around to watching this one, Superman, so kind of finishing superheroes here in the DC universe, we got Superman, Watchmen, and now we're moving into all of the standard non-superhero, non-Disney titles, and they're very roughly alphabeticalized, so don't kill me if there's something out of order. Okay, so starting off here, we got A Few Good Men. 2001 A Space Odyssey, one of my all-time favorites. 21 and 22 Jump Street just got released here a couple weeks ago. Um, Daniel Craig, I'm sorry for that glare, let me see if I can... Arrival, 1917, great 4K release. 310 to Yuma, this is one of the movies that actually got me into collecting movies way back when. Absolutely loved this movie. I was pretty young when it came out, but just just really got me into movies. 47 Ronin, kind of a surprising 4K release, um, but it's a decent movie. Star is Born, Dominable, The Accountant, Ad Astra. Alfred Hitchcock Collection also just recently came out. American Assassin. Argo, which is backwards. Oops. A Quiet Place. Air Force One. Original Alien, Alien Covenant. I'd like to see the rest of those come to 4K. I do have Prometheus lower down. Leah Battle Angel, American Gangster. American Psycho, Annihilation, Anna. Angel Has Fallen, Apollo 13, great release, Apocalypse Now, Baby Driver, The Batman Collection, Bad Boys 1 and 2, still need to pick up the new one, Bad Boys for Life, Battleship, Backdraft, Beetlejuice just got released, excited to watch that here in October, Braveheart, Bridge Over the River Kwai, Bohemian Rhapsody, Boys in the Hood. So a lot of these have very difficult to find slip covers. So that is one of the things I'm the most proud of in my collection is how many slip covers I have. And some of them I did have to seek out individually. So that can be a pain in the butt, but I do love my slip covers. Bad Times at the El Royale, Black Klansman, Black Hawk Down, Blade Runner, Blade Runner 2049. Both of those are excellent 4Ks and excellent movies. The Bourne Collection, Brawl and Cell Block, uh, 99. Haven't seen this one. Actually, I just recently picked up. This slip, slip cover became kind of hard, and someone was selling that movie. Um, and I thought, I was just kind of holding off on it, and I finally just pulled the trigger and bought it. So, kind of excited to watch it. Bumblebee, eh. It's an okay movie. Transformers really kind of went downhill for me. Cabin in the Woods. Casino. Sorry, these are pulling out weird. Charles, Charlie's Angels, just the original one. I don't have the new one. Cold Pursuit, the Nolan Collection, 
Amazing collection, amazing director, amazing movies on 4K. Can't recommend all of those enough. Cliffhanger, Color Out of Space. This is a pretty, uh, pretty good 4K release as well. Um, Nicolas Cage has been doing some decent things lately. We got Conan the Barbarian. We've got a classic Statham Crank. Creed 1 and Creed 2. Christine, Commuter. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Dark Crystal. Every time I see this, it reminds me that I don't have Labyrinth, and um, that's very difficult to find with the slipcover nowadays. Daybreakers. Dark Tower, which is backwards. Daddy's Home. Daddy's Home 2. Detective Pikachu. The Trilogy of Despicable Me. Die Hard. Divergent Trilogy. Absolute garbage trilogy. I got this for dirt cheap, but honestly, I don't know. I could throw it away and not care. Dread, Doctor Sleep, whoops, Downsizing. Nope, oh, we got a cat down here. Ender's Game, Last Witch Hunter and Gods of Egypt trilogy. Equalizer, Equalizer 2, Escape Plan, Evil Dead 1 and 2. These slipcovers are very difficult to find nowadays. Ex Machina, Expendables 1, 2, and 3. Fantastic Beasts, Second Fantastic Beasts, the Fantastic, or the, sorry, the Fast and the Furious 8 movie collection. Ferdinand, one of the very first 4K titles released, actually. First Man, Fifth Element. Field of Dreams, Ford vs. Ferrari, Forrest Gump, Fury, Full Metal Jacket, The Mule, Gemini Man, and Gladiator. So we're now we're moving down to the fourth row here. My arm is getting tired, but that is okay. I'm going to power through for you guys. So it's, it might get a little difficult to see some of these. It's kind of buried here back in the corner, but... We got the Ghost in the Shell animated series, just got released. I've not checked any of those out yet. Ghost in the Shell the movie. We got Glory, Godzilla. I'm sorry, I'm struggling back here. Goodfellas, recently released Goonies, Grease. I don't know if this is guilty pleasure or not, but I love this movie. It's been—it's actually one of my favorite movies the last few years that's been released. Love to have it on 4K too. The Great Wall, forgot that one in one second. Green Book, Gremlins, Hacksaw Ridge, Harry Potter, all eight films, Halloween, Hell or High Water, we got all the Hellboys here, Hellboy 1, Hellboy 2, oh, oops, Hellboy 2, Hellboy the Remake. Oh, I'm sorry, I screwed all that up. Hellboy 1, Hellboy 2, Hellboy the Remake. Godzilla King of Monsters, Hitman's Bodyguard, which is back. Hostiles, Hot Fuzz, Home Alone just came out. I really hope they do the Home Alone 2. Peanuts Holiday Collection, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Jim Carrey version, Hunger Games Collection, I Am Legend, Heart of the Sea, Pleasantly Surprised with this movie, Invisible Man, It Chapter 1, It Chapter 2, Independence Collection, Independence Day, Jaws, amazing 4K release right there, Jack Ryan Collection, Jack Reacher, Never Go Back, need to get the first one, John Wick, John Wick 2, and John Wick 3, Great 4K movies and great movies as a whole. I really am happy that they were coming out with movies like that still. Joker, Jurassic Park collection. Jumanji, the first one, the next level. Kingsman collection, Knives Out. Karate Kid, Kick-Ass. Kin, also backwards. Getting these titles straight now, it's kind of nice. King Kong, Knowing. Law Abiding Citizen, Lego Movie, Lego Movie 2. I actually just ordered Batman, Lego Movie Batman and Lego Movie Ninjago, so I can add those there. We got Life, actually kind of 
a really good movie. Lincoln Lawyer, Lock Up, Stallone, Lord of War, Logan Lucky, Lucy, Magnificent Seven. Here's uh, kind of a little bonus stack I just pulled out from my boutique Blu-ray shelf. Um, these are kind of, I think these are all the 4K Blu-ray Sorry, I think these are all the 4K titles from boutique companies that I have right now. I couldn't find any other ones, so I'm pretty sure this is all I got. But you got the Deer Hunter here, Pitch Black, Flash Gordon, Escape from New York, Prince of Darkness, They Live, and The Fog. I'm guessing all of these movies are going to get 4K releases pretty soon because They Live has been recently announced. I think it's re releasing next week, so I wouldn't be surprised if the rest of these come to um, Scream Factory and get released. But for now, I have the Studio Canal versions. Moving down, coming down to the fifth row here now. We've got the Matrix Trilogy back here. I'm not gonna pull these out in the corner because it's kind of hard to reach. We got Man on the Ledge, Mask of Zorro, Mad Max. So I actually did just order the actual Mad Max Fury Road. That's the only 4K in this uh, box set. I just put it on this shelf, but I just ordered the Mad Max Fury Road individual release. And then Mad Max, the first one, is getting a release from Kino Larber later this year, so that's pretty exciting. We got Mission Impossible six movie collection, The Meg, Midway, Moon, Mortal Engines, Murder in the Orient Express, The Mummy Trilogy, The Natural, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Oblivion, Overlord, Pacific Rim, the terrible sequel, Pacific Rim Uprising, Parasite, Pan, Phantom Thread. I, there is a slipcover that exists out there, but I haven't really ever seen it. The Patriot, Passengers, Pet Cemetery. Peter Rabbit, Philadelphia, Planet of the Apes Trilogy, one of my favorite trilogies of all time, Predator Collection, Prometheus, Push, Quick and the Dead, the Rambo Collection, all five of them. Got Rampage, Ready Player One, Red One and Two, Red Heat, Revenant, Robin Hood, the newest one. Robin Hood, Russell Crowe, Rocket Man, Saving Private Ryan, Scarface, Serenity, Shaft, Shaun of the Dead, Sicario. I do have the second one actually in the mail. Um, I just have it on here yet. Schindler's List, Shutter's Island. This is getting a standard release here soon. Sonic the Hedgehog, Scoob, Snitch, Skyscraper. Didn't really like this movie. Spies in Disguise, Step Brothers, Shape of Water, Starship Troopers. Still looking for the first one. This look cover's impossible to find. Backwards, Stuber here. Moving down to the final row, the sixth shelf. So way back here, we've got The Shining, Spartacus, the Sherlock Holmes movies that just got released. We have Star Trek Trilogy, all the Star Wars movies here. Stand By Me, Tarzan, Terminator 2, Genesis and Dark Fate, The Town, Three Billboards, Days of Thunder, Top Gun, Tomb Raider, Transformers Collection, Unforgiving, tough slipcover to find, Universal Soldier, Van Helsing, Van Wilder, Valerian, I hated that movie. War of the Worlds, Warrior, absolutely love that movie. Warcraft, Waterworld, Whiplash, The Witch, Wizard of Oz, World's End, Wonderful Life, Zombieland the first one and the sequel. Then over here we have the entire catalog of DC animated 4K releases. I do have a video talking about these and their comparisons to the Blu-rays. Okay, so that is all my movies. If you stuck with to the end, thanks so much for doing so. Thanks for being subscribed to this channel. If you aren't yet, please hit that subscribe button and please hit the like button if you like this video. I'll see you all next time.